Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. It's a short list of men and women who have held UFC belts simultaneously in two divisions, and God damn it, DC, you're on that list, man. Let's see how it goes for you here tonight, though. You're the underdog. I'm one of the blessed ones, Sean, to have been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished, but it's taken a lot of hard work. Really focus on the striking, the grappling, having a great team at the American Kickboxing Academy, and as I walk to the Octagon tonight, I am trying to show all the work that I have put in and hope that it's enough to get the hand raised once again inside the UFC locker. It is amazing to think that you didn't get your start in mixed martial arts until you were 31 years old. And one thing I've always said about you, even if it hasn't been the greatest training camp in your life, you have a penchant for rising to the occasion. There's something about fight night and those bright lights that once you sort of flip that switch, you're able to excel when a lot of guys fold. I'm a competitor from yeah. the octagon to mad. I just want to uh -huh. win. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 28 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Jan Blakowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliotta. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, here we are back inside Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. And it seems like every time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between... Oh, now going to the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase submission. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to chase his finish. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by a tap out, Daniel DC All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit.